today it's midsummer and we're looking for typical signs of ash dieback disease on this five-year-old plantation and the most giveaway sign that we can look for are brown hanging leaves on the tree in midsummer when all the leaves should be green. You can see it on this tree. There is one branch that has brown hanging leaves and all the rest of the tree is, has perfectly healthy leaves. Here we can see the terminal leaflets have gone completely brown. The leaflets behind it are still green but we can see that the main vein or the petiole has turned a brown colour and that indicates the fungus travelling along the petiole towards the main stem. Another leaf symptom of ash dieback disease is this speckling on the leaf and that's caused by the fungal spores that land on the leaf and try to invade the leaf. And in this case you can see several leaflets with speckles, brown speckles and also a patch or a whole sector where the fungus has managed to invade the leaflet. And it progresses from there. Another summer symptom of ash dieback disease that you may see on some trees is an intensive drying up of the leaves. Here we have an example of a small shoot that has died back completely and the dieback fungus has moved down along this shoot into the main stem. The fungus has invaded the stem and has caused this lesion or area of dead tissue which will probably spread to some extent within the stem. We have been examining this plantation quite carefully for our summer symptoms of ash dieback disease and in this case we've seen a typical example hanging brown leaves on the tree. A single branch is infected in this case that's also typical not all the branches on the trees are infected but if you find hanging brown leaves like this on a tree it's a pretty good sign that the fungus has landed on the branch and invaded this stem of the tree.